T.O. please. Hey there, this is T.O. bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. So today I'm going to show you guys some fun that I had with robotic parts. Here on the screen you see a goofy looking walker that I attempted to make and was having trouble getting the, the feet to work properly. So then I decided let's scale it up a bit, a bit and make the, the movements more pronounced. And I was able to sort it out pretty much so it, it functionally walks but then I decided okay let me let me get away from the walking design and go with something a robotic part that I thought I might actually apply and that's the uh, rotors so stock KSP doesn't give you too many wheel options you've got a really small one that mounts very goofily so it's not very useful in some design I you know some styles you got some mid-size wheels that are more functional, but obviously too large for some applications and not large enough for some. And then the largest wheel, in my opinion, sucks because it doesn't turn on its own. So it relies on um, you know, an RPM difference between multiple wheels to, to turn the, the vehicle one way or the other. So I decided I could <clears throat> experiment with these rotors and friction pads. And if I can get this to work, then it's, it, uh, it opens up more possibilities for creating custom wheels much larger wheels smaller wheels uh, unfortunately this is the smallest that I could see myself using because that's the smallest rotor and the smallest friction pad and if you go with fewer than this in the number of friction pads it stops looking like a circle and starts uh, looking more like a square wheel which you know just aesthetically doesn't look right so uh, yeah, this is the smallest, unfortunately, that I could get the wheels to work, I think. But I could, I can definitely shrink the uh, the whole vehicle. I could, so I'm using, you're probably using more struts than I need to. The wheels could be half the distance from the uh, main probe core than they currently are. But I'm liking the look of this. It looks like a motorcycle so far, an electric, an e-bike. And, um, yeah, so going with a very basic design. Got a couple batteries, the probe core, the uh, external command seat. And uh, probably going to add one or two more parts just to make it functional. Something like the, um, I'll probably add a light in the front. Most, you know, that's a classic look of a motorcycle. And then I'm also thinking of a, uh, an experiment storage unit. Something like that in the back to, to round off the design. And uh, kind of make it look as cool as could be, I think. And uh, obviously you see the reaction wheel on top. That's cheating. Because, uh, you know, you wouldn't have a reaction wheel on anything in atmosphere like this. But, uh, hey, it helps keep things right side up when uh, otherwise they might not. So, it might not be kept that way. <laughs> so, that's uh, that's my insurance policy. So, uh, I've got my rotors. Let's set the throttle to control the, the, uh, the torque output. That was my original line of thought for some reason. <laughs> uh I think it's because I'm so used to using rotors with uh, propellers and controlling the pitch of the rotor, uh, of the blades. I almost never use controls for the RPM of the motor. So uh, that's that's probably why I went with, with this uh, option this first time. I actually recorded this footage probably more than a year ago. And uh, I did this, t this test run and the one after it. And wasn't satisfied, so I went ahead and recorded a third test run that'll that'll show at the end here in a moment. But uh, yeah, so it, it rolls, which is nice. Um, the RPMs are currently at 460, which is incredibly high for a wheel. So <laughs> it's uh, it's behaving like this, as you can see. But uh, for me, like the, you know, this this was a success. It was proof of concept. It rolls. So uh, I'm kind of fidgeting with the motor sizes again, and I'm trying to play with the the settings to see if I can get it to perform a little better and uh, I'm thinking what if I add a uh, the controller which I didn't need because you know it already gave me the ability to control torque output with the throttle so I'm doing this second test run again this was about a year ago and um, kind of get similar results you know it it spins it moves but uh, I, you, you can see the jittering it does it uh, it doesn't like performing, let's say that. So I'd pretty much given up on the design and just had some fun and thought, okay, that, that is what it is. Well, over the course of a year, I slept on it and thought, you know what? I never adjusted the RPMs of those rotors, did I? 
So here's uh, my new footage, my latest test run from today. And yeah, let's set the the throttle, the main throttle. Instead of controlling torque of the motors, let's just control RPMs. And I set max RPMs at a more reasonable limit. And we'll start with zero and work our way up and see how it performs. So let's get this bad boy out on the tarmac. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Tom Cruise riding on his motorcycle. That's what I'm thinking. I just watched Top Gun the other day, by the way. So <laughs> go ahead and pull up our kickstands and already much better performance. You can see the friction pads aren't starting to separate. So uh, I like this. The design works much better this time. I can even pop some wheelies. So I'm having fun with it. Just fun with robotic parts. If you guys haven't tinkered with robotic parts, I encourage you to do so. Uh, maybe you can have better luck with a, a, a walker than I did. Maybe make an ATAT -AT or an ATST or something like that. But uh, that's it for this video. Just had some fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that like button. I've got a few more videos in the pipeline, and I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to KSP2 coming out in a month, so uh, or about six weeks. So appreciate you for tuning in, and hope to see you guys soon.